your fucking birthday. clicking into my video today I have a get ready with me and it's a special get ready with me because I celebrated a birthday you guys I turned 27 on March 2nd so I wanted to come back and recreate the look I did for my birthday dinner if you're from the Dallas area I had my birthday dinner at Nick and Sam's which is a steak restaurant it was super nice well I guess you say steakhouse is that what you say I don't eat steak like that but for my birthday rich bitch shit only period 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 anyway so i am gonna insert some of the videos and pictures i took that day but for now let's just see how i created this look don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys hey guys so let's get this video started i already did my brows off camera I went ahead and primed my face. I'm using the Becca primer and I'm also using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Right now I'm going with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer just to brighten up my lid so the shadows can actually show. So I went ahead and zoomed in so y'all can see me or whatever and I'm just going to go ahead and pat that in. So now I'm going in with the Morphe palette. I'm actually using the 350 palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that onto my eyelid. I put a couple of layers just so it can start to show on my skin, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the crease and keep building it up till I like the coverage of it. So here you guys, I'm going back in with that Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I didn't really want to cut my crease, I kind of wanted just to have like a gradual glitter look. So I'm just putting in the concealer only so the glitter that I'm about to use can go ahead and stick to that. So I am using the Too Faced Pretty Rich, like I said earlier, <laughs> Rich Fishy Only. Um, <laughs> anyway guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, I'm using the Pretty Rich palette and I'm using the shade diamonds for breakfast which is all that glitter that you see me packing on my eyelid so now I'm going to go back in with the 350 palette and I'm just going to take this darker brown shade and put that in my outer corner just to darken up the look and kind of just make it blend in a little bit more with that lighter brown that I used earlier Okay, so now I'm going in with the NYX Epic Wear Liner. Y'all, if y'all have this or if y'all wanna use this, just please be careful with this, you guys. It's so watery and just so, like I don't even know how to explain it. Basically, if you do your um, cat eye or whatever you're doing and you look down, be careful because it will spread and get all over your eye and you will be mad. So anyway, now I'm going in with my eyelashes that are from AliExpress. Only place I get my eyelashes from now, by the way, is AliExpress. That's it, that's all. Okay guys, I'm going to go off camera and finish my other eye. And I'm back y'all. I have both of my eyes and now I'm going to start on my face. So what I wanted to go ahead and do for my face was use a foundation that I know works well. So I went in with the Juvia's Place foundation in the shade Chad. I love this shade. Y'all know I've already done um, a foundation on this. The shade, the color, the undertone just matches perfect. So that's why I went ahead and used this. So now I'm going in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Coco. I actually really like this concealer. I've been using it for a while. I just feel like it's the perfect undertone that I need and it's not too dark, it's not too bright. It gives me the right amount of brightness that I need. So I'm gonna let it set on my face for a little bit. After a couple minutes went by, I went ahead and started blending that out. Two seconds. 
set, I'm using the Huda Beauty Baking Powder and I'm using the shade Pound Cake. And I just use a little bit of this. I do not use a lot because, of course, you don't want flashback. So I just use a little bit of it just to mattify me and make sure I don't get no shine. After that, I go in with my Lancome Press Powder on areas that I did not highlight. going to go ahead and sweep off all that excess powder and then after that I'm going to go in with my fit me powder in the shade 375 I'm just going to go on top of areas that I highlighted this kind of just gives me extra brightness and also it decreases my chances of getting oily and getting shiny I love the matteness that this gives Okay y'all, I have been getting into skincare and I have been going to TJ Maxx, spending money when I don't need to. Anyway, I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It's a matte spray, I actually really love it. I'll probably do a little video on this. Now I've changed my highlighter. I'm going in with the NYX highlighter that came out probably like about a month ago, I believe. But I actually like it, it works, it works well. So that is my face. Now I'm working on my lips. I just went in with a very dark brown liner and then I'm gonna be going in with a Milani lipstick that's a light pink shade. I did use minimal of this lipstick because of my skin color. If you put a lot, it can look ashy, so I just used a little bit just to make my lips look just a tiny bit of pink. And now I'm going in with some lip gloss from Sephora. It's my favorite lip gloss. It's actually lip plumper, but baby, I love it, honey. And that is the look, you guys. I'm done with my makeup. So I really wanted to show y'all all the other things that came with my outfit. My dress is from Fashion Nova, my shoes are from 6.99 store, and my bag was from Shein. This was my birthday look, you guys. If you made it to this video, please go ahead and click that like button, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.